Today we're going over solutions for error messages in the Gimpelio. The error messages we're covering today is OS error 3 and OS error 2. Both have the same or similar solutions. These errors occur sometimes when the paleo.exe file is missing from its location. Uh, by default it should be found in local data, local app data slash paleo. If you go to your file explorer and you type in percent local app data percent slash paleo. I'll have it in the description if you want to just copy it. It should bring you here. Now, if your file is not here or you've installed it somewhere else, then you'd have to find it there. As for me, mine is installed in my D drive, which is right here. If the exe file is not there, then your antivirus might have removed it or something. The antiviruses these days have been like basically going after everything that you download. You can check your antivirus by going to your start menu and typing virus and threat protection. And you'll be able to see your allowed threats and it will come up with paleo.exe and you can allow it into your allowed threats. If you do find it here you just want to exclude it from the antivirus software whichever software you're using the Microsoft Windows security should be good enough you don't need any other software if the previous solution didn't work you can try this in the next solution which is basically removing all traces of the game from your system first you want to uninstall Paleo by going to uninstall add or remove and just typing in paleo and deleting it, uninstall. Then after it's uninstalled, you're going to want to head to the actual directory and check if the files have actually deleted fully. If they haven't, then you can go to the directory of where you've downloaded the game. And you can just delete the files. Once you've deleted the files, you want to head over to the Paleo website accounts.paleo.com and log in and download their launcher again. Once you've downloaded the launcher, you should put it on your desktop and you should run it as administrator. By running it as administrator, it lets it reinstall properly and you won't get any error messages while it's installing. If you find the video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, it would really help the channel a lot. I'll see you in the next one, thanks for watching.